Hi guys, Robo46 here, working yourselves back to MotoGP20 on the Xbox One X. Let's continue with career mode. We go to Assen and then Kimi rank for the next two rounds. So let's head over and see how we get on with Assen. And then uh, Kimi rank. All right, we're FP3. So uh, FP3 was not good. I was dead last, which was a bit of a surprise. But... Um, yeah, it didn't work out for me, so unfortunately, I had to go through Q1. I managed to go quickest in Q1, so made it through to Q2. And I'm hoping that we can put a decent lap in. That's the plan anyway, but uh, we'll have to wait and see what is the first split. Just under two tenths off of the time at the moment. We've got Nakagami on track just ahead. Currently in third if we're, as we closed in some more time. We are just off of the quickest time. Nakagami's going to get in the way. Yeah. This is not what I wanted. Right up the inside. Right, we are through eventually. Okay, through turn 12 and then run down to 13 and 14 and through 15 we've lost time there Nakagami made us lose a bit of time through the chicane and run to the line what's it going to be second place that's fine so starting down in 8th position, our time did not hold up very well. It's a half a second off. Time to go racing. The track temperature 82 degrees, soft front. I'm going to go for a soft rear as well and uh, see how that holds up. So yeah, we're starting on the third row. We need a good start. That's exactly what we need. Okay, middle of the third row. Here we go, Assen. Run down the turn one, we've made up a couple of positions maybe. We're up to seventh. Trying to get Crutchlow as well, he's on the outside so that should be another position, although he's going to go the long way around. Come on, Crutchlow, just... There we go. We're eventually into sixth position. Maybe... Oh, someone's down. Crutchlow is down. And we are up to fourth place just behind Marquez now. Using uh, a little bit of slipstream. No, Rossi, don't do that. Okay, well, we got Rossi, but we've gone a little bit too wide. But no, we kept third position. Marquez was coming... Uh, Coming past Rossi, Rossi decided to go to the right when I was trying to come through as well, which blocked my path. But we made it through eventually to third position, but we are still behind Marquez, who is our main championship rival at the moment. We need a better result than Satsum Ring. I mean, we're already doing better than Satsum Ring because if we finish as it is now, at least we'll be on the podium. We were off the podium at Satsum Ring. So, into the Gertema chicane for the first time during the race. Slipstream Marquez. So we put power mapping down to one and we don't get him into turn one although he's taken a slightly wider line might be able to sneak through not able to get through at the moment no okay it's not happening there at the inside through disturban and we got him on the exit that is second position that was a good move that now it's just me and Davizioso unless Marquez has got something to say. Oh, that's me wide. Marquez might come back through. No, I could hear that Honda though, but he didn't manage to get through. Okay, into 
to Debol. Staying as we are at the moment as we come to the end of lap two of seven. Davizioso staying in the lead. He's got a, uh, a little lead, not much. 0.3 of a second. Down to the chicane. Oh, really? I picked up a penalty for that. I think we literally might have just kissed a little bit of green. But anyway, we are passed into the lead as we start lap number three. So we've got 0.2 of a second penalty, so we're going to have to keep an eye on that. Is Davizioso going to be able to attack? At the moment, he is not. He can't be done already, Dovi. Come on. Pull your finger out. 0.6, which is actually only 0.4 if you take the penalty into consideration. And 0.6 still. Right, wow. Wasn't expecting to get into the, the lead this early in the race, but we've got to uh, use those soft rear tyres, or the soft rear tyres, there's only one of them on the bike. But we've got to use our soft tyres because we've got front and rear um, to the best as we can and not wear them out too much. So the fact that we're in the lead, I mean, we can try and push and try and build a gap just in case... Oh, we've done it again. We've got another 0.2 of a second penalty. So we've got a 0.4 of a second penalty altogether. Marquez has just gone fastest with a 32.5. Well, that's annoying. So we've got an even bigger gap to try and, uh, try and take into consideration. And hopefully will be okay but if the soft rear tyre goes off towards the end of the race and we struggle with the pace we may just lose the lead because it's currently 0.3 if you take the 0.4 off actually it's just under 0.3 so the, uh, the gap is very close although we've just opened it up to 0.9 which is half a second altogether so Okay, we are doing what we need to. Let's just concentrate and keep that gap over 0.4 of a second and we'll be okay. Unless we get another penalty, which uh, is a little bit concerning. I'll we'll have to take a wider, wider line on the entrance to the chicane just to make sure we don't clip the inside kerb. It's over a second now, so that is fine. So we go down to the chicane. This is where we got the two penalties. Oh, that was close to the green on the left-hand side, but we didn't get a penalty for that. Fastest lap of the race, 32-0. 1.2 second lead. Yeah, we're pulling the pin now, which is good. We should be fine with that penalty. We don't have to worry too much. We can just uh, keep going. Rear tyre isn't wearing out as quick as I thought it would, which is another bonus. Because after this lap, we've only got two to go. is the lead now let's keep it going I think we're going to be fine well, the right hand side of the rear tyre is about half gone grip wise but I think we will survive 
one and a half second lead into the chicane again look out look out Robbo's about so I <laughs> don't know where the hell that just came from but um yeah we're, we're still leading we didn't pick up a penalty that time either oh don't do stuff like that okay well that's gonna bring the gap down so the gap was one and a half seconds but it's, I'm pretty sure it's not that now the wheel, rear wheel lifted up in the air when I didn't want it to in fact they're pretty close the gap is half a second which is basically looking at that less than a tenth of a second the gap now we could be in trouble it's a penultimate lap of the race and it is yeah if it finishes like this we will not win because the penalty is bigger than the gap. All because of one mistake at turn one. Not good, not good. We need to build that lead back up if we can. What is the gap now? Oh, it's very close. We would just win. We're about a hundredth of a second into the chicane for the penultimate time. We have got one lap to go. The times are getting very close. Half a second still. We would still win. Come on. Still wrong gear into turn one. It's all starting to unravel. A few mistakes are being made. Right, come on. We can do this. What's the gap? 0.6, that's enough. That is enough for the victory. Okay, now it's 0.8. The gap is going back up. So, it's looking likely we're going to win this one. I mean, the AI are usually pretty quick in the final sector. So, we're not out of the woods yet. I think we're still alright. I think we're still okay. Point eight still, but they will close it down through here. And it's all about the run through the final chicane. That was fine. I think we've done enough. I think we've done enough. Have we? Yes, we did. So, anyway, we had the fast slab the race as well. And we managed to win that one, so that's good. Petrucci did not finish. Oh, he must have gone down with Crutchlow. 21 point lead now over Marquez. 112 over Repsol Honda. And 36 over Honda. So there we go. Aston completed a good victory there. Made it hard for myself though, getting a couple of penalties, but. Uh, in the end, we managed to do the business. The next round is Kimi Ring. And the last time we went there in the MotoGP category, there was absolute carnage with all the crashes around there. Loads and loads of them. If you haven't seen the crash compilation, I would highly suggest going back and watching that. But yeah, Kimi Ring, last time we were there... Um, I went a bit wide and when I came back online Crutchlow was trying to get the inside of me and we collided, Crutchlow went down and then both the factory Yamahas of Vinales and Rossi went down and then it was just a domino effect, Davizioso went down as well and a few other riders went down and uh, I think there was about only 15 riders, something like that left at the end of the race that crossed the line. 
Some of the riders were doing weird things where they were just going too wide for a corner and putting the rear of the bike on the grass and high siding themselves. But yeah, we didn't win last time because we got damage from uh, that collision with Cal Crutchlow and we lost one of the uh, aerodynamic wings. So hopefully this time it will go a little bit better. We'll find out in a minute when we go racing there. Okay, we are looking very, very good this season. Right. Anything we can do in R&D? Obviously not. Let's put, um, oh, we can do anti-wheelie. So we've got some electronic people to put on here. What I might do to bring those weeks down is put all the frame development people on there as well. Just to help bring those weeks down because we haven't got enough to upgrade the frame anyway um, but what we do need to do is skip the weeks and see if we've got enough then development of frame is finished so Kimmy rank here we go this has not been coming easy FP3 was okay, but I have been having a few issues just uh, invalidating my lap time, which has been a bit of a pain in the ass. Front end wise isn't as bad as the Suzuki around here, so I don't think we need to worry too much about the front end. The weird thing at the end of this straight where they stick the wrong leg out going into a right hander is still present there we go we're going right but he sticks his left leg out as if he's going to take a left hand corner maybe it's to psych out the opposition maybe he's trying to confuse him by sticking his left leg out and making the other riders think oh we're going left here and then we turn right instead. So currently 0.4 off. So this is not looking like a great lap. But we shall see. Can we bring that time down? I made up a lot of my time in the... Well, pretty much the last two corners. For an FP3. Not yet. Well, we're a second off. So that is not looking great. Okay, through into the final corner we go. Where is this going to put us? 11th, I think. Uh, yep, yeah, 11th place, 0 0.7 off. Rossi was 6.6 .6 seconds off. Right, that was a very weird qualifying, but um, soft front, medium rear, full tank of fuel for this one. Stand way back. Yeah, Rossi was over six seconds off. That was very bizarre. At least I wasn't that slow. Right, let's have it. Hopefully it won't be as much of a uh, crash fest as last season. Here we go, Kimi Rink. This time aboard the Patronus Yamaha. Short run to turn one as we get past Nakagami. Oh, someone's down. Hold a Spargaro. So we are up to ninth place as we go a little bit wide there. That just sent Miller wide as well. Jack Miller, of course, has just signed for the factory Ducati team for 2021. So congratulations to him. We're up to 6th, we're up to 5th as Quattraro looked over the wrong shoulder as we go into the next corner. Oh, we've been hit by our teammate. Someone's down as well, Alicia Spargaro was down. 
we are staying in fifth position. Luckily, we haven't picked up any damage from that hit from our teammate. Obviously, repair me for the little nudge at Saxon Ring earlier on in the season. So we need to try and get past Maverick Vinales. I'm not going to do it here. Oh, that's going to get tight. Okay, staying in fifth position at the moment. So we have got Marquez in third position at the moment. Davizioso leading. And I think that's Crutchlow in second. Big wheelie there from me. Can we get... Yeah, there we go. We've got a bit of a better drive than Vinales. And we've got it. So, yeah, we've got a fourth position now just got to get past two Hondas and a Ducati so that is the end of lap one of seven and we are closing in on Marquez we can't let Davizioso get away they take a wider line through turn one it doesn't seem to affect them Marquez looking over his shoulder now Again, they take a wide line through turn four. We should be able to slipstream now. We might be able to get both the Hondas here. So past Marquez we go. Back in the slipstream with Crutchlow. And past Crutchlow we go as well. On the brakes. Wrong leg out. And into the right hander. Oh, we just got hit by Crutchlow there as well. But again, no damage has been shown on the screen. There may be a little bit of damage, but not enough to... Uh, enable enable the warning to come up on the screen so we can't really afford to get hit anymore because I think that uh, we would get the damage indicator come up on the screen if we do but we are in second place now and we are chasing down Andrea De Vizioso. someone else is down Valentino Rossi is down so we've still had quite a few crashes in this race so far Come on, let's get Divizioso. Come to the end of lap two. We're nearly with him. Bit of a wheelie there. And down to the final corner. He's gone a bit wide on the exit. I'll tell you what, we've got a better run. And we just beat him to the line, I think. Fastest lap of race, 44-0 as we go into turn one. Oh, he's up the inside. That's the thing, they rush into turn one and that sends them wide. So if you're online, they will uh, barge you out of the way as I've gone a little bit wide there, but I'll try and cut that back. Bit of a big wheelie there as well as we try to slipstream the Ducati as well. Can we get him? Can we get him? Yes, we can on the brakes, but he's better on the brakes. Okay, staying in second position for now. Through the long turn nine, get back on the power. Can we get past Davizioso again? Again, he's looking over his shoulder. Maybe we're going to psych him out like we did Marquez at Mategi last season when uh, made him a bit paranoid. Someone else is down. Nakagami is down. Get a good run through turn 12. Going into 13. We are on him. We're on him. Not quite close enough to do anything yet. Okay. Onto the start finish. A bit of a wheelie there from me. No one else is near. But we are past Davizioso now. But he's going to go wide into turn one. We know he does that anyway. The AI tends to like that line. And it works for him as well. Because we are back down to second place. So it's not working at the moment. Okay, that was a better line through turn four this lap. All right. Who's 
as that slipstream blasts past the Ducati. And on the brakes. Oh, rear came up slightly. We're a little bit wide, but that has allowed Davizioso back through. We've got a fight on our hands here. I don't know why uh, my voice just went a little bit higher then when I said that. But we have got a fight on our hands. So through turn nine. A fight with Davizioso. So we've got a few positions where we can get him. I know that I'm quicker through the penultimate corner as well, so that is always a move that we can use, but we have to make sure it's uh, it's a uh, viable option because we need to be close enough to do it. Can we get him now? Come on. Oh, he was a little bit later into the final corner, but that sent him wide. We are going to get him to the line, so we are now leading down to turn one. A little bit of a moment on the brakes there. Dovi is back through. Might get him down the straight again then. Alright, here we go. Oh, bit of a wheelie there. Again, just uh, slowing our progress. But now we're going to blast back past him. On the brakes again. Again, he's come through on the inside. As we close up through here, but we can't get through there. It's not really a good place to overtake. Oh, we nearly went into the back of him there. That sent me a bit wide, but I can cut that back and try and get the exit. Through turn 10 and turn up. Oh, Vinales is down. So that's both factory Yamahas down on the floor in this race. Into 12. We've got two laps to go. This race is going past very, very quickly. Oh, that's me too wide, way too wide into turn 13. That's not going to allow me to do anything through 14. It is time to start the penultimate lap of the race. We're still in second place. Davizioso leads over the line as we blast past him. A Yamaha blast and pass a Ducati. That shouldn't happen. Okay, into turn four. Again, this is a good place where we can get Dovi down the straight. But I don't want to be hit by him into the next corner. And we're past. And on the brakes. Okay, oh, he's there. He's there, but is he? Oh, that's sent me wide anyway. Yeah, he's through. Okay, we're closing back up into turn nine, a little bit wide. We are okay for second place at the moment. Still got a gap over Marquez in third. Still not found a successful way through on Dolly to make it stick. He's fighting for this one and it is a good, good race so far. Again, he looks over his shoulder. Don't want to be doing that, Dovi. Oh, we've just been hit by Marquez. Alicia Spargro is down as well. Okay, this is not good. We are being attacked by Marquez now. Luckily, again, we didn't take any real damage from that hit. But I didn't realise they were closing. We've got one lap to go. And Marquez is now in the mix for this race. One lap to go, Davizioso is leading. We've got power mapping two to use on this lap as well. Okay, okay. 
think we've got a little gap over Marquez again. A bit wide through turn four. A wheelie at the wrong time there. That's allowed Dovi to get away a bit. Marquez is there ready to pounce. We're not close enough to Dovi. But we are a bit better on the brakes. We've basically done what he done and went in a bit too hot. But that's allowed me to close right in. This race isn't over. We are going to run out of places to get him though. The back straight was one of the best chances to get him. And we just weren't close enough. Down towards turn 10. The next few corners are going to be very difficult to try and get past him. But we are building towards something. We need to get close to him for the penultimate corner. I think that's our best viable option as we go down to turn 12. Need a good run out of here. Here we go. Come on. Okay, down to turn 13. In a little hot. In a little hot. Through 14. Come on. Come on. We're at the inside. We are block passing into the final corner. We are going to win at Kimi Ring at the final corner. A wheelie over the line. What a race. What a finish. Oh, okay. That was uh, that was an awesome race. Four people DNF in. Both the Monster Energy Yamahas. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was awesome. That's how we like our racing. Right down to the final corner. We were so lucky not to be completely hit off by Marquez when he... Uh, Decided to show a surprise appearance. Yeah. Got to be happy with that. That was unbelievable. When I went wide through turn 13, I thought that was it. I thought I'd buggered it up. But we managed to get a good run through the penultimate corner. And just do a block pass into the final corner and it works it worked a treat could have quite easily lost the front end but we didn't if that had been the Suzuki I might well have done but uh, yeah we have won at Kimi Ring and MotoGP for the first time I know we've won it in uh, previous categories but we have not won here in MotoGP yet not until now that was a great race that's one of the best races I've had well Mugello was a good race this season as well that came down to the final corner well I hope you guys enjoyed that race I certainly did no massive pilot this time either which is also a, uh, a bonus Okay, let's just get rid of these uh, proposals because we've already signed for Tissot Ducati for next season. So we don't need these, don't need any of them. Okay, so let's go back to our, well, let's skip on. We've got three weeks to skip on. So the next round will be Bruno. But R&D, can't do anything there. But we can put our engine people in to uh, research to get some points. Yeah, I thought there's one more. Right, anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this video here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to wash your hands and stay safe. See you.